so we're looking at a picture of a robin that's been caught on a glue trap. Uh, so a glue trap is a sticky board that's uh, used for uh, catching rodents or possibly insects. And the robin has obviously found the board and got itself caught. So they come into us. If we can, we will try and uh, distangle the animal from the board and then we try and wash off the glue. Uh, but that can be quite difficult. And uh, yes, unfortunately for this Robin, it didn't make it. So I think some of the pictures you can see the sort of damage that the glue has done to the feathering of the bird. And the RSPCA is trying to take action to prevent this happening again, isn't it? Yes, we've had a campaign running for some years now uh, where we ask members of the public to write in to us to let us know where glue traps are being sold. And we gather that information so we can then present it to policymakers uh, to basically show them the cruelty that glue traps can cause. Uh, and at the moment, there is a private member's bill going through Parliament. It's due its third reading. And we are hopeful that this private member's bill will improve the situation to some extent. Uh, there are things we'd like to change to make it better, but it's certainly going to be a step in the right direction. Outline the suffering an animal endures as a result of this, and how common are these traps? Uh, not sure how common they are. They are certainly used by the pest control industry, and they have certain situations where they say that these traps are necessary. But they, I, you know, I'm not sure where you can get them in terms of as a private individual. Certainly, a lot of uh, small uh, independent. Uh, DIY shops sell them, but a lot of the larger DIY chains uh, don't. In terms of the cruelty they cause, well, if you can imagine the animal getting stuck there, even if it's say, only stuck by a limb, it's going to try and escape. Uh, it can suffer dehydration and, of course, ultimately starvation if it's left on there and it's unable to escape and find food. Uh, some animals, we have seen evidence of some rodents trying to gnaw off uh, limbs or other parts of the animal that are attached to the trap to try and escape. Uh, so yes, you know, these traps don't kill these animals, they just trap them. And the idea is that the person who set the trap then has to kill the animal humanely afterwards. But I think a lot of people who buy these traps don't realise that. What kind of reaction are you expecting from these pictures, uh, in particular of this bird? What kind of, have you had any comments to you about it so far? I haven't seen any comments myself, but I do know that the last time we published images like this, we received a lot of comments over our social media channels and that we also uh, received a lot of uh, reports of places selling glue traps uh, to the email address that we provide. And, you know, we are aware of places like Amazon who have glue traps frequently advertised. And actually, Amazon are quite good in that they agree that selling glue traps on their site is against their policy. So they will take them off if somebody reports it to them. But it's uh, one of those things that as fast as they take somebody down, somebody else puts them up again. I think the last thing I'd like to say is that if anybody has uh, wants to contact their MP and ask their MP to support the bill that's going through Parliament, that would be great. Uh, we certainly would also encourage them uh, to support their MP if they want to make amendments, especially regarding sales, because one of the problems with the bill is it doesn't cover sales. Uh, we know why. It's because of the internal market with the devolved nations, and we have to wait until Scotland, Wales, and potentially Northern Ireland have banned traps as well. But certainly we would like to see the sales banned because we think that's going to have a much bigger effect. And so basically, we'd want Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland to follow England in banning these traps, and then we can ban the sales of them as well.